Hi again. Hey, we're going to take a minute here to go a little bit more in depth into some of these parts that you'll commonly see on our units. Um, so this here would be a, a, a slider uh, clamp and this holds the frame to the turntable or the fifth wheel plate and underneath this uh, hooked to the top half is what we call a slider block. Now believe it or not over time this polyurethane slider block can actually wear a groove in the in the top side of this uh, slider clamp as well as in the fifth wheel plate. Uh, that's why it's important to go ahead and pull this apart sometimes every every year or two actually and just make sure that we're getting uh, for one the holes not elongated on this and this guy's not sloppy on the spud and two how bad our groove is or isn't in the in the top of this and in the fifth wheel plate uh, it's good to manually grease the bottom of this you know top and bottom of this it's really going to prolong the life of it uh, we have basically three different uh, styles of slider blocks we're going to have a small hole which is an inch and a sixteenth uh, the one that's under here which is an inch and three eighths hole and then we have our large block which is used on the trunnion so you know check them all for where there's either going to be six or four per cat um, another item is when, when we talk about the carriers and the journal and journal liners and how much movement you have when you start getting excessive uh, movement in there is what's happened is these guys here get out around and they, these go in your carrier and then slide over the differential and you know we grease these real good when we uh, build the cat but only using the greasers that are on the carrier you never get grease uh, between here and the journal again and that's why when they come in for a full service we do a complete tear down of these drive these out of the journal out of the carrier uh, inspect them if they're good then we will get a good fresh coat of grease on the inside and outside and reinstall it and you know this goes a long ways for for just keeping these cats in, in good shape keeping the steering tight keeping them tracking uh, straight and, and things of that nature um, some of the bigger units rather than having uh, a tie rod end on them uh, we've went over to this uh, heim joint which is you know basically a, a very very hardy component um, but going back to the tie rod end underneath this plastic cover you have a boot you know you want to keep it full of grease make sure you don't have any uh, tears in that and, and the grease is not escaping and again we like to keep this nut that holds this either to the swing or the fifth wheel plate torqued down to about 155 pounds if uh, you need to go farther to get your your carter key hole to line up we always go a little bit tighter on that um, the heim joint again it's uh basically run these so tight that to move this uh, ball ball in here you know you got to put a bull's prick in there and, and, and really use a, a, some force to get it to go uh, we like that nice and tight to inspect these on your cat you can simply grab your tie rod and make sure it's taking some good amount of resistance to turn that if you find that this is turning real easy uh, then you want to kind of check it make sure that there's no up and down play inside this uh, kind of show you the components that are in this are basically inside that housing you're gonna have a bottom cup your ball a top cup and then on the new ones they have a little spring retainer that goes on there and then you put your spanner nut back on top greasing everything of course before you put it together run your spanner nut on there until you get that so tight that it's pretty difficult to move then we'll uh, drill a hole in the side of the housing ping that and then put our set screw in there and that'll keep this from backing off um, those are going to be so tight that they probably won't take grease after they're assembled until you've ran them for a, a period of time and then they'll loosen up and start taking grease. Um, as we spoke about some of the components that are metal on metal, this would be our steering clevis that I was referring to on the end of the uh, steering cylinder that goes through the swing arm. And again, metal on metal, hardened pin. You know, as you can imagine this going back and forth right now this is nice and tight but over time this will get elongated and you know can contract cause you to have a, a little bit of a, a tracking issue as you're going down the trail uh, again on the butt end of that it's just again it's a hardened pin and uh same thing you're basically not going to wear your cylinder out you're probably not going to wear the mount out that's uh, welded to the frame but this pin here which is a nice and easy to replace uh will, will tend to get some grooves in it 
another thing to kind of point out is uh, if you have a, a cat that does not have raised breathers, breather vents where they're running into a recovery bottle inside the hood and you only have a little breather vent like this on the differential, uh, when we fill them up here at the factory, we're at about 12, 1300 uh, uh, feet above sea level. So as these cats go out and you take them up in elevation, they get hot. This fluid is going to expand and go out the breather vent. And once that fluid leaves, it doesn't come back in. So it's kind of important to, you know, check your differentials quite often and, and keep them topped off with fluid. Uh, thank you for uh, viewing. And uh, I'd encourage you to visit our website and uh, like us on Facebook. And we'll see you next time. Thank you.